Hey, y'all. Come on in on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon, 7 to 5 degrees. It is so nice out there. I've never seen so many tulips blooming in my life today. The, the, uh, uh, the pear trees, the crab pear trees, oh, they are beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Y'all come on in the house. We're going to talk about it. I told y'all so. And, and Rita, you just have, you proved everything I already knew. I already knew about this thought. That's why she's so upset with Trees. She want to be Trees. See, Trees was successful with her life. She already think Trees was a thought, right? But Trees brought her thought-ism on out. And this bitch, she didn't bring hers on out. That's why she's so jealous with, with Trees. Because Trees is true to hers. But see, this bitch over here want to hide hers. You know what I'm saying? But I knew it. She just what I said she would. And I always knew. I always knew this hooker over here. I always knew. And you know, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna greet y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna greet all of y'all. But I always knew when her mother had her, her mother had an addiction. When she got uh, some age, her mother was probably taking her with her to places. And I wouldn't be surprised, in my opinion. If she wasn't getting introduced to sex at a very young age by her mother's pimps, at a very young age, in my opinion, these are my thoughts. And then when a, a mother got sick and couldn't do it, she had to go to her grandmother's, her grandparents, they couldn't do a damn thing with her. That's why they put in her own apartment because she was strong. The, the bitch was strong, you know? They couldn't do shit with her. So they put in her own place. And she had every Dick, Tom, Harry, everybody in Richmond probably been in and out of that cat. And exactly, this is exactly, I'm like a low rep, this is exactly what I thought she would. And Rita, you bring, keep on doing it, Rita, because you bringing it out, that bitch can't get on here. That thought can't get on here and talk about it. no motherfucking body. No motherfucking body. And that's why she's so uh, over there attached to uh, uh, Trees. She see herself in Trees. But Trees was successful with her thoughtism. But bitch, you ain't, you could never get out with yours. So I, may, I don't know. Maybe your shit won't good as Trees's. <laughs> maybe you won't move in the right way, bitch. That's why you watch her like a fucking hawk. You watch her and her kids, because you had them four kids over there by them four different men. They run in and out. Them motherfuckers run in and out of your ass. And you had them children right there watching. And I wouldn't be surprised, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, I wouldn't be surprised if them kids ain't been touched by some of them men that she had running in and out of that trap house. The bitch was a thought. The bitch was strung out just like her mother. That's why, because I always wonder, why would her grandmother put her in a, her own apartment at the age of 16? Because they couldn't do a goddamn thing with the, with the thought. She was turned out. That bitch was turned out. Turned out. And got in there to come on here and talk about another woman. She is so je jealous of Tree's, Tree's life. Because Trees reminds her so much of her life. But Trees is successful with all the bullshit and the shit she done done. And bitch, you ain't reached that point yet. That's why you are strong on that woman and talking about her. Because you, you you can see yourself in her. And you can see Trees. Trees successful. And you trying to take Trees out, bitch, so you can take her place. I all oh, in the back of my head, y'all, I always knew this bitch was the neighborhood thought. I always knew. You can look at the motherfucking tail. Anytime a woman come over here for two years and tear another woman down and watch her and can read her 
read every if the woman go in the bathroom and shit, she'll go come on here and say, Man, won't her shit snake. Because she's jealous because Trees made it. Trees or she Trees remind her, because she's that low like the bitch. Oh, that uh, the thought. Mama can everywhere she go. Uh, every man, every dick a mammy sucked, she probably sucked it, in my opinion. And, and she got turned out at a very young age. And her grandparents can do a motherfucking thing with her, but put her in your own place. I bet you that, that grandma and grandpa got tired of motherfuckers running in and out. She coming in, sneaking in, all they, they couldn't take it. This woman is exactly. I, you know what? She's exactly what I thought she was. And anytime I said something, I ain't too far off. I ain't too far off, bitch. So it's time for you to change up your commentary, motherfucker. Because you ate you. You ate you now. All your, all your skeletons is ate you. Run. Hey, I, look, ate you. I didn't say I hear. Ate you. Them skeletons running out the closet, motherfucker, every day. But, Rita. You keep it up, and I ain't surprised of everything you saying. I already thought it. <clears throat> I already thought it. And I wouldn't be, I would be surprised of what went on. I bet you there was a train wreck in that motherfucking house. Them men whooping her ass and them children, she got the children locked up in the goddamn room. And then when them boys got old enough, they probably were dealing with them guns and they fighting with their mama boyfriend and shit. I bet you that house was a terror squad. Terror squad. And I all told y'all that bitch wasn't working. A foster parent. When you a foster parent, you take them kids, you attend to them kids in your own home. And really, really, you ain't got the credentials of a foster parent. As many men's been in and out of your ass, you know, them children the dangerous just come to your house and stay with you. Because who knows they ain't going to be touched over there with all of me and you here traveling. Traveling in and out of your home. Now you should have been investigating, motherfucker. They should have been investigating your ass. But I knew it. I knew it. I She just what I, I knew that bitch won't shit. I thought. She come on here and talk my first she said two baby daddy. Then she said three baby daddy. Then it come to find out four baby daddies. How in the hell you going to fuck two brothers and then fuck the goddamn mother? In other words, you fucked the whole goddamn family. In other words, you was the neighborhood thought. Everybody in the neighborhood went in and out of your coochie, baby. I, I, you know some motherfucker, I'd have, left, I'd have left Richmond too. If I don't fuck every goddamn thing in Richmond, I'd have left Richmond too. I bet you heard back and, and tell what your your coochie look like. Mm-hmm. I bet everybody could come here and write a story, bite your lips, your teeth. I knew you I knew you won't who you said you was, motherfucker. I knew you won't. Anytime a woman ride another woman's ass like, bitch, I knew you was from the that you was down in the valley, goddammit. I knew you weren't on the mountaintop, bitch. You way down in the valley. And you ain't got to the mountaintop yet, motherfucker. I knew it. I <laughs> I knew it. And I can just imagine. I can just imagine what went on in that house. Do y'all think by me having two girls... That I'm gonna have my dough old motherfuckers running in and out of my home. And I'm gonna tell you how I think. This is me. This is, I'm gonna tell you what I think. I always told my two girls, I said, if anything ever happened to y'all daddy, I'm gonna promise y'all this one thing. Ain't another man coming through that door. I said, cause when they come through that door, I know damn well they ain't coming through that door to see me. And when they see my two beautiful girls, I know they come through this door to see y'all. And I said, uh, the devil in hell, and a devil in hell, God damn it, hell to the no. And another man coming through this door. They ain't, I told him, I said, they ain't looking at my old ass. They looking at 
these two beauties I got here. The devil is a lie. Ain't now another man. I won't now another man gonna take his shoes off in my house. Long as I had my two teenage daughters here. The devil is a lie. Because I don't play that shit. I don't play that. Ain't no man but they daddy coming up in this motherfucker. You better believe that shit. That's the kind of mother I am. Brittany Allen said, happy Tuesday. Hey, Brittany. Hanging out. Say, hey, Miss C. Mars and Chad. Hi. Charles said, a hanger. Say, hey, Miss C. and Chad. <laughs> uh, Letta Gomez said, hello, Miss Carver. Hi. Rita Williams said, hi, Miss Carver and Chad. Hearts and Roses. Chris said, Miss Carver. Yes. Diane Stone said, hey, Miss Carver and Chad. Uh, Rissa said, hi, Miss Carver. Hi, Brian Harris. Cynthia Green said, terrific for Tuesday evening. Blessing. Miss Carver Chat, hi Cynthia. Amber Sanford said, hi Miss Carver Chat, hi. Uh, Angela Brand said, good evening, pretty lady, hi. And the chat, Rebecca Wilcox said, good evening, uh, Miss Carver and chat. Angela Brand said, good evening, pretty lady, hi. Rebecca Wilcox said, good afternoon, Miss Carver, hi honey. So you need to say, hi Miss Carver and y'all, hey. Adam was a good evening, Miss Carver and the chat. Alexander Savage said, good afternoon, Miss Cece. How you doing today? I'm feeling good. Oh, I had a busy morning. I had a busy morning this morning. I came back this afternoon and I, you know, washed some sheets and stuff, changed some sheets. And now I'm on here uh, chopping it, chopping it up. Right, you guys? Right, you guys? We chopping it up. Right, you guys? Right, you guys? <laughs> Flowers in the attic. Hello, beautiful Miss Carver. <laughs> Hi, uh, flowers in the attic. And those beautiful roses. Yeah, I come chopping up. Oh, uh, thank you, hanging out. Welcome to Day Litters. Thank you, baby. Thank you for being a member over here. Uh, they passed her around like a joint and puffed on her, and then they didn't want to hit it no more. Let me tell you something. Let me let me tell y'all. Who in the hell uh gonna buy a cow when they can get the milk free? That bitch was like a what can I like they said a car wash. You go in the motherfucker in the front and come out in the back, and that's it. The car wash is open to every motherfucking body won't come in. That's what she was. That's why she's she got grudge and hatred for trees because trees made it. And they said she didn't want nothing but these drug dealers that had money. So she thought she was going to make it by opening her car wash up to everybody. These drug dealers with money. Hell, it was somebody else had a car wash that washed a whole lot better than hers. Washed a whole lot better than hers. They tried hers and didn't like it and went the fuck on. And, and four, of them left, uh, four of them left the babies there. Never looked back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I knew it. But, honey, I knew it. I knew the bitch won't hit no shit. I knew it. I knew that uh, that, that mother was taking that girl around. That's how uh, uh, crackheads do that. They ain't got nobody to take care of their children. If they got a hustle. They're going to bring them to the house or they're going to go meet them. I don't know whether her mama had a house or not. If her mama had a house, house I'm sure it was a drug house. I don't even know whether her mama had a house or not. So I can't say. And maybe that's why Cantaloupe had a house. So she can bring a crackhead mother there. And I think that's what it was. Her grandma done got her apartment and, her, and moved her mammy in. Because she said her mammy used to take care of them kids. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The mamma was, was effing and sucking, and she was effing and sucking. Probably ain't no telling how many of them drug dealers was uh, fumbling around on her ass. And, and she probably got a dick. They probably getting her 10 or $20. Same one her mama was tricking with. And that, and that went to her head. Oh, this is a good way to get money. Oh, let them smell, let them smell the coochie. Let them come through the car wash. I'm going to get $20. I'm going to get $20 here and get $20. I ain't no telling what that. Y'all know something. I ain't no telling why 
that bitch on, on Dallas. I ain't no telling what she got. And we can tell you she didn't, we all can tell she didn't use no protection. Because every time they rode up in there, they dropped the load and left it. And we can tell you she won't buy no protection. Ain't no telling what that woman got. And whatever it is, that might be because her skin look like she do. Ain't no fucking telling what she got. I wouldn't go up in that car wash, goddammit, if they didn't have no more. If yeah, that was the last one, I'd come home and run my own water and wash my car. Sure would. Ain't no telling what, ain't no, ain't no telling what a bitch like that got. Everybody can run up in you and ain't got that, ain't got to put no head on. Bitch, please. Michelle, darling, they were hanging out. I said, Ginger calling Michelle. I, you know what, y'all? I just can't wait to see, hear what the lie she gonna tell. Well, she'll be on here in a few minutes, claiming she been to work. We all know the bitch don't work no more. And when she come getting her braids done, she forgot yesterday. She said she was going this morning to get her braids done. She forgot about her job. She'll be on here in a few minutes. Uh, and she gonna come on here with some bullshit. When the ops, they were lying. Some boy, everybody, everybody, woman, everybody ain't lying on your goddamn man. Everybody ain't lying on you, bitch. You might want to come on right with the truth, like I told you. I told you, baby, I, uh, I was a rolling stone till I got married, baby. And guess what? Loved every minute of it. I loved every damn minute of it. And sometimes I wish I could turn back the hands of time and go back and do it a goddamn again. And I told y'all I want no saint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So don't come on here and start a lot like you this and that. And then when your skeletons run tonight, then you got to come out with another lie. But you what I thought you were, that thought, that neighbor, everybody in the neighborhood, Know what your coochie look like. I'd have left Richmond too, bitch. I wouldn't look back. Jamaica's true said, <laughs> laugh, I laugh, Susan. Hello, Carla. The boss Jim says, hello, Susan, once again. Boo, good afternoon. Happy to terrific Tuesday. Ruby King said, Carla, hanging. Hanging out laughing. George Duncan Bell said, Miss Carla, you absolutely right. A man, she really uh, talks down on this young lady and her kids, especially her son and daughter. It's sad. I could cry. I have a daughter. That's why she's doing it. Because that uh, uh, that lady put her in mind of herself so much. and But this other lady made it. She made it. And she on here talking about her. She mad that she didn't make it. Now she tried to get a come up off of her. If she because she reminded her so much, so much she did. She probably was uh, sucking on the mama's, the the mama's boyfriend, the uncles, the uncle's shit, the papa shit. Everybody come around that bitch probably was sucking on it for ten dollar, ten dollar, ten dollar. But she didn't make it. Now she tried to get a come up off of Latrice over here. Mm hmm. And all y'all got to do is listen to that motherfucker talk. Anytime a bitch come on here and tell you that they grandma got them apartment at 16 and they ain't even finished school, you all to have sense enough to know that something is wrong. They had a reason to get in that bitch out that house. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michelle Darlene Davis said, them skeletons skipping around the house and they too many of them to have a seat. Hell yeah. And I, I'm telling you, you know what? And them kids, I bet you they over there are running up shit, trying to come on here. I ain't no use y'all coming on here keep trying to find shit on everybody else. All you got to do come on here and tell the goddamn truth. Tell the truth. And I ain't shame on nothing I did in my past. I ain't killed nobody. I ain't stole nothing. I, I hell I done did a I done did a lot of hunting. Hell yeah. I'm an honest bitch. I'm an honest bitch. You know what I mean? But goddamn. I enjoyed every minute, but I ain't stolen, I ain't killed no motherfucking body. I ain't took nobody's husband. 
God is so good. God is so good all the time. Oh, God is so good. Miss Carl, yeah, Monsieur Dalinay. Them skeletons skipping around the house. They too many of them to have. Yeah, yeah. Thank uh, Patton Tracy. Hey, y'all. Laughing. McQueen of Bees are laughing. Ursula Watson said, Rita is her trainer. Yeah. Walk the dog on her, Rita. And that's what got me pissed off. She keep coming on here trying to embarrass Rita and her family. And she ain't doing half as good. She ain't owning shit. Then gonna try to embarrass your, your next black sister, bitch. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Don't, don't try to embarrass your next black sister. Because you ain't you ain't no better than her. I'm not no better than her. No better is nobody is better than the next. And I just don't like the way you keep coming out here. Keep coming out here with all that goddamn shit you coming up with. Don't fuck with how people live. Motherfucker, you ain't living no better. Because what you living in. And don't belong. I ain't living no better. Because none of this shit belongs to me. I can't take it with me home. Honey, have a heart. Motherfucker, have a heart. Don't keep coming on here with all this grievance and just hating on everybody, tearing everybody. Have a heart on yourself. Bitch, how do you sleep at night, bitch? You already going through with your kidneys, your dialysis. And you already black all around your eyes and your motherfucking mouth. Bitch, uh, pipe down. How a hard, bitch. Because you're no better than we are. Ain't nobody on here no better than the next. And you know something? I appreciate. I appreciate my mother. We won't. We didn't grow up with a silver spoon in our mouth. My mama, single lady with eight kids. My God, my God. We lived out in the country next door to my mother's father, my granddaddy. Mm -hmm. And then they built these apartments uptown. And my mother was the first one to put in for them. They built a whole, oh God, all these apartments. We was the first family that got approved and we moved in that apartment uptown. My mama took care of all eight of her children by herself. She worked every day. Plus she got social security for all of us. Every time one graduated, they went off to college. No one graduated when my mama did this. My mama by herself. I'm not going to come on here and think I'm no better than nobody else because I didn't grow up with no silver spoon in my mouth. Because we had, we had some hard days when we were living like that in that country. Especially in the one time it got cold, we had that old wood heater. How far y'all think of, we had a gas heater in one room and a wood heater. But then we had upstairs. We had to, a lot of us had to sleep upstairs. Cold as hell up there in that motherfucker in the winter time. I won't born. I won't born with nothing to raise like that in the country with nothing to brag on. You got to crawl before you can walk. Cause I had a one parent. Then we came to up there and live in the apartments. Things start getting better. It be so hot in the house at night. You had to turn the heat down. Cause we had heat on the wall. Mm -hmm. I'm an honest hoe, y'all. I'm an honest bitch. I can tell the truth. Lived there now with my mother. All of my other rest of my sisters had gone, had gone off to college. I stayed there with my mother. He yeah, paid the bills and everything. Hell yeah. Then I met my husband now. I met my husband now. We left there, got an apartment uptown. Stayed up there in that apartment for about 18 months. 
And that's when we got this double wide right where I'm living today. And that's been 40, 41 years ago. I've been married 43. That's been 41 years ago. And I'm still here. Still here. And I don't give a fuck if it ain't no mansion. I ain't trying to keep up with the Obamas, the Trumps. I bought what we can afford. When we bought it, it was a double wide. We done added on twice. We got a double car garage. That's what you do. That's what you do when you ain't got no money. And I ain't got a goddamn thing to brag about. And I ain't shame of my upbringing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But I get a glory to my God. I give all the glory to my God. How he held my mama's hand. And able us to move to town. I kept, he kept holding on to my mama's hand, sending them, sending all us to college, one by one. How he's still holding on to my mama's hand over yonder. My God. My God. I give all my glory to God. I ain't got nothing. I can't do nothing without my father in heaven. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Mm. She's falling and she can't get up. Better say, Miss Carl, not to be played with. Mm-mm. I, I, I'm. I, y'all, y'all got to get to know me. Y'all got to get to know me. I'm a humble person, and I thank God for the smallest things. Y'all got to get to know me. Hey, beautiful lady, uh, Red Miss Carver. I've been missing your lives, but watching the replays. Okay, love black. Susan, I said, hello, Prince, Princess Susan, Ursula Watson. And your daughter is very pretty. Thank you, Ursula. Say, love, Jones, sweet cake, um, Solomon, ham, cabasas, turkey. Uh, Nika said, hello, love black. Nika said, hanging out. Hello, Stacy, love, Jones, Tiff, Norris, said, your daughter and Chrissy look like, uh, what did I tell Chrissy? Do y'all remember when I told Chrissy she reminds me of my daughter? Do y'all not remember when I told Chrissy you reminds me of my daughter? And I told Chrissy, that's why I love you so much. Girl, you remind me so much of my oldest daughter. My oldest daughter even act like Chrissy. I told Chrissy, now y'all see, she reminds me of my oldest daughter. I love her deal. I love Chrissy. She reminds me of my daughter. My deal said, hi, Miss Carl, hanging out. Welcome to, thank you, baby, hanging out. Welcome to Day Lillis. My deal said, hi, Miss Carl and Chad Roses. Sweet case that Stacy. said, yes, no sweet or hot. Uh, Jenny said, welcome, hanging out. Let's do us a pig feet. It was quiet today. She'll be all right. Wait, she'll be all right. She got to go in there and take them up. They said she on them pricks. And you know how she was saying uh 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 Trees was on them prick. She got to go in there. Because what when you when you come on here with a show like this, baby, you got to have something. And, and when when you when your skeletons done run like they ran the day, bitch, you got to have some up your nose, something in your mouth, or some stuck up your ass, bitch. Ah. Don't do me, sir. That's why Chris is a favorite. I always told y'all, Kim, Chris reminds me of my daughter. Just like my, and she even act like my daughter. I've been telling y'all that all the time. Calling this, she already has a black heart. <laughs> yeah. And I just said Chris was my favorite now, Kim. But I said she reminds me of my daughter. She just like my daughter. And, and what to say? Everybody got a twin, ain't it? That, that when I saw, I said, if that ain't my oldest daughter right there. She got them lips like my daughter. She reminds me just like my oldest daughter. Sure do. They say everybody got a twin. Uh, don't do me. I know, right, Chris? <laughs> Uh, don't do me say that's why Chris. No, she already has a black in your black rose. Uh, Betty Harrison, hello, Miss Carr. I remember those days growing up, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Uh, Janae said, I enjoyed her life. Thank you, Chris Crown. Don't do me. There you go, starting trouble. No, I hope she don't, but I, I've told y'all before. I don't come on. I ain't just told y'all. I said, Chris, remind me of my oldest daughter. She do. She really do. She, Chris, my daughter even act like the way Chris act. And she looked like her. And them lips. And my daughter got some big lips. But she got some big, pretty, juicy lips. And she remind me so much of Chrissy Crumper. Sure do. I'm doing say, I know, right, Chrissy? Laughing. Jamaica True laughing. <laughs> Susan Ellis said, you so right, Deacon. Tim Norris said, uh, perky, perky. Laughing. Yes, Miss Cara, Chrissy do look like your daughter. Beautiful. I subscribe to her page. She is as beautiful like her mom. Beautiful. And she got dimples for days. That's the same way she was born. She had the prettiest dimples. And the older she done got, them dimples is in her. And all she always smiling. Always. I ain't never. My daughter, she always smiling. Beautiful heart. Hanging out laughing. Don't do me. Hit the like button, please, and thank you. And say laughing. Being my, I watched her last night, Miss Carl. She is lovely, refreshing. Change of these YouTube streets. Yeah. If she ain't got no damn negative channel, don't y'all go over there with that negative shit. Because she don't want to be involved with none of it. And I can understand that. My, my kids got jobs and stuff. They ain't getting on here with this motherfucking shit like cantaloupe children. Hell to the no, no, no. Don't care your don't care your negative ass over there. Fucking with my daughter. Cause she ain't in this shit. My daughter, she ain't nothing like I had her, believe me or not. And everybody tell me she look like me. My baby girl look like her daddy. But honey, she ain't she different from me. Cause I I tear a motherfucker down. I sure will. My daughter ain't like that. She's the sweetest. She is the sweetest. I love her. You know, I used to have dimples. I don't know what happened. Look, look I used to have two dimples. Look, I don't think I got nail one now, but my, my baby was born with the prettiest dimples. And oh boy, you need to. My mama, you talking about somebody love my daughter? Lord, if my mama could see her today. She loved, she loved my baby. Shana thought, hey, Miss Carl Marsha Chad, what's your daughter's page so I can follow? Uh, what was her page? Well, hold on a minute, Sean. What's her page? Conversations with dimples, I think. I had it wrote down and I just told the damn piece of paper. Look. I think it's conversations with dimples. Chris is sure, Chris, Chris is sure is the favorite. Don't do me. No better, better mess with our beautiful. <laughs> Look, friends, y'all. I never said Chris was my favorite. I said Chris reminds me of my oldest daughter, whom I love dearly. I told y'all. I said Chris reminds me so much of my daughter. She do. She really do. She, my daughter. Acts like Chrissy. Yeah, I like Chrissy. I like all of y'all. I like Prince. I like Sean and those. But it's, I told you, it was something about Chrissy. Because that girl just like my daughter. Chrissy just like my daughter. Just like, y'all know, I y'all know, I love my two girls. Chrissy reminds me of my daughter. Lord, I hope they don't call her jawbone like they do me because of my cheekbone. If they do, it's all right, Chrissy. Chrissy, if they do, it's all right. It's all right. But she know who she is. That child, my honey, my daughter is loved by so many. She is loved by so many. If they do, it's all right. Myra's uh, <coughs> from ear to ear. Chrissy, I bet you granted from ear to ear. No, really, but I've been told y'all. I've been told y'all. Chris remind me of my daughter. Claudia Brandon said, hello, Miss Carl, laugh, Diane Fish. And you look and talk just like my mom's sister. She said, oh, really, Diane Fisher? I told you, everybody got a twin. And, and that is true. 
That is the truth. Hanging out laughing, Chris Grunt. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you, baby. But I told my I told my daughter, I said, uh, work on your 4,000 hours. Because you're going to get your subs. You're going to get your 1,000. But what you need to do, you need to come on here and work on your 4,000 hours. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a minute to get that. Chris Grunt says, Shauna, I posted the link. Thank you, Chrissy. But Nelson really said, how you doing, Cynthia? I hope everything is well. It's fine. Wait a Conversation with dimples. That's it. Elaine Davis said, hello, Miss Carmen Chad. Don't do them. Said Chrissy post. Thank you, Chrissy. Chrissy, this is your uncle. Daddy. <laughs> Chrissy, this is your uncle daddy. This is your uncle daddy. Your uncle daddy. <laughs> Chris, that ain't over here. That's over y'all on the other channel. That ain't happening over here. Cause my two, what you say, you her uncle daddy. <laughs> That's on the other channel, a prayer. Not over here. Not a, look. You know what? A lot of these children out here don't know who in the fuck their daddy is. One thing I can tell you about my two, they know who in the hell they daddy is. So their daddy makes sure. They're going to know who he was. Make sure that grandma know who he was. You better believe that shit. And right the day he makes sure. And them both of them children right there, you can't tell them shit back their daddy. Hell no. Mm -mm. You don't tell them shit back their daddy. They know who that daddy is. And then again, it, uh, it speaks for itself. Now my baby girl is the split image of her daddy. Split image. She's a little darker than her, my oldest daughter. She's a little darker, but she ain't as black as her daddy. Because her daddy's black. And I loved it. I loved every minute. But my oldest daughter, she got all this forehead just like her daddy. She just got my color. But she got all this like her daddy. I can say she got my big lips. But see, that forehead ain't nobody but her daddy. Travis Nelson. Oh, I didn't know Miss. Miss Carver, daughter, had a page, got it. Yeah, yeah. I told her don't do it, but uh, she did it anyway. She did it anyway, Rita. Because they're going to be trying to dox her, come up with all this goddamn shit. She ain't in here on this month. She ain't in this sector. You motherfuckers doxing people want to know who they done fucked and who they done sucked. Y'all so sick, son, a bitch. Miss Carver, your daughter's beautiful, just like, thank you, Vanessa. Kenyana Ivers said, that's the name, Miss Carl. Yeah. Uh, Lavora Buckner said, conversation with dimples. That's her. Hanging out laughing, up in the stuff. They do favor. Yeah, she looked Chrissy. When I saw Chrissy, I said, if that child don't look like my daughter, I couldn't have nothing but love for her. She reminded me so much of my daughter. Uh, don't do me. Sir. We said she's a favorite. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Kim. Y'all said we said she the favorite. Hell no. I got two. The, she the oldest. It ain't no favorite here. Let me tell y'all something. She ain't my favorite. I love both of them the same. But see, she's more convenient. Because she's 15, 10 minutes from my home. My baby girl is about 30 or 35 minutes from my home. And, 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 this, and this oldest one. She about 10 minutes, she like, she all, she down here every damn day. She ain't got no children. Her children is grown. Her two girls is grown. My baby girl, she got a 15-year-old daughter and a 10-year-old son. Plus, she's a school teacher, and she lives 35 minutes from here. She just can't come down here every day like my oldest daughter. Because she got to go, she got to go home, take care of them two, help them with homework. She got the great papers and everything. See, there's a difference, but it ain't it ain't no difference in loving these girls I got. Don't ever think that I would never love one no more than the other one. So won't she is beautiful, Miss. Thank you. Chris Cross the Mars are hating on me. I see it, Chris. I see the hating on you. But I've been told y'all Chris look like my daughter. Hell, I love all of y'all, but Chris look reminds me so much of my oldest daughter. Sure do. Uh, uh, 
uh, don't do me say now we, <laughs> don't do me. now we said Chris is the favorite. We know you don't have favorite children. Hell no, I love both of them the same. Both of them come out of me. I ain't gonna have no favorite over the other one. Now my oldest got two girls, but my baby girl got a boy and a girl, and I love both of them dearly. But that boy, that's my heart. I wouldn't take nothing. That boy, that baby boy, I ain't never had a boy in my family. I love that boy, and I kept both of them till they were five years old. And that boy, he run up in his house right now. You know where he gonna run to? Grandma, I love you. He gonna run now, right now. He's ten years old. He gonna run up in here. He ain't gonna stop it. Papa, nobody. He gonna run right to me and hug me and say, "Grandma, I love you." Hell yeah, my granddaughter right behind her. She fifteen, but then she gonna hug me. Grandma, I love you. I said, "I love you too." But that grand boy, boy, honey, that grand boy, he know we love him because he the only grand boy. And I said, I don't know how it's going to be now. I'm going to have a great grand boy finna come. And I I know my grandson going to love him to death. He said, Grandma, why I'm the only boy in the family? And when uh, my grandbaby got, I told him it was a boy, he said, Ooh, we're going to have another boy. I can play with him. <laughs> but honey, that little boy of mine, he on I ain't got no favorites. Mm -mm. I uh, out of mercy, I love her TikTok. You know who's TikTok? Just let me say, I knew it. I knew Chris. I knew Chris. <laughs> Y'all need to stop that shit. But if I kiss you, you add a fuel to the fire. Somebody got on your daughter's page and said, fuck the Snoscar. She just said she didn't know who that was. You know, oh. Uh, <laughs> Let me go back up here a little bit before I before I lose it. Claudia Blass, I just subscribed to your daughter's channel. Jenna said, hey, Jack Dogs, don't do me that. We like Chrissy being the favorite. Chris is not my favorite. I told y'all I love Chrissy because she reminds me of my daughter. But I love the rest of you all. But I please y'all. Chrissy reminds me of my daughter. We like Chris and Ben. Y'all need to stop that shit. Just leave us a good afternoon, Martin. What's up, Jack Dog? Jenna said, Hey, Wanda. Jack Dog said, Just leave with Butterfly. Miss Carl, come on, saying, Hey, y'all, anybody seen or heard from Chris? Chris, y'all in the chat? Fast as Chris, you all right with me? Hey, I always ask about Chris. I sure do. Y'all ain't heard nothing. Y'all seen Chris? Chris, I told you, Chris. Chris could be my daughter. She probably about the same age as my daughter. She probably about around the same age as my daughter is. Joey. Jordan said, Missy, you don't have to explain the love you have for your daughters. And I do. I ain't nothing but love for my daughters. No other way. And my grandkids. That's all I got. Hell yeah, I love them. I love them. Hell's yeah. I remember, oh, so Chrissy favorite over here. Y'all need to stop it. Yeah, I love Chrissy. So what? And I love the rest of y'all too. But it's just something special about Chrissy. Because I keep telling y'all, Chris reminds me of my daughter. Somebody got on your daughter's page. And said, fuck the snot squad. She just said she didn't know who that was. She don't know who the snot squad is. My daughter ain't into my shit. I keep telling y'all that. My daughter, my daughter and them got good jobs. They ain't into this motherfucking shit. That's why she ain't in this sector. They don't engage in this motherfucker. That's why I can't even understand why a lawyer would engage in this fuck shit over here. My kids ain't gonna do that. Chris gonna butterfly kiss you and feel <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Chris Chris. Y'all stop it. I love her TikTok. I don't know nothing about no tick Chris Cross. Just living. Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. Uh that's me. Uh, uh daughter. 
on a uh, Tiff Norris to take notes on loving on your daughter's cantaloupe. You could really been a yeah, yeah. Tell her, I'm her favorite. I'm, I'm her favorite. Just she just don't know. <laughs> Call her, yes, yeah, she is. Sue Elsa, we are one big, we all are one big happy family. But y'all know something. I don't know why I feel like I know Chrissy. I'm going to be honest. I don't know why I feel like I know Chrissy. I don't know whether it's the, the bump, that she looks like my daughter. I ain't never met Chrissy in my life. But I feel like I know Chrissy through my daughter. You know, I, I'm just for real. And I ain't never met, met a day in my life. Uh, just check your daughter's page and when I say I love her already. Thank you, Rita. Thank you so much. Rita, y'all run up and help get her them thousands of subscribers. Run her up. Missy, that's someone's name on here. Laugh out loud. Chris, Missy, that's someone's name on here. On here. Okay, uh, Chris. Call her. Yes, she is. Uh, we love Chris too. Hell yeah. And I mean, if, I mean, if you see if I come on here and see somebody on here look like me, I'm going to come out here and say, say, say. Especially if she talking like me. She look like me. Chris, come on here and talk like my my daughter. My daughter ain't for all this. She don't want to get on here and damn nobody. And Chris is the same way. She don't want to talk like that about nobody. Chris is the same way. And when I said she remind me of my daughter, and I meant it. I love conversation with Dimple's personality. She talk and engage with the chat like she knew everybody. Like I said, that's come from professionalism. Your job. You just can't come on here. Professionalism. You got you can tell when somebody is uh uh got a job with the public and then uh a motherfucker to come on here and gonna tear, cuss, and rave. You can tell. You ain't got to hear it but one time. But if I kiss, I love conversation with them as person. Like, okay, try me now. Say, Miss Carl, you have to admit that I'm jaw one on your favorite. Hell yeah. <laughs> Read them. <laughs> Let them know. Read them. I have really come to love you. I really have. You know what? Read them. I'm not that person. It hurt me like hell when I had to say the bad things about you. No lie. It hurt me like hell because that's that's really not me. It hurt me like then I get off, I'd be crying and so upset. I said, Lord, why did I do that? Why did I do that? But I never, read. I love you, baby. I love you. I don't remember saying, what I want to say, I love you. Sure do. I sure do. And I ain't, I ain't getting on here acting like I'm no better because I know I ain't. We were raised with one uh, one parent or mother. How much can one mother do? No daddy with eight children. But I'm, she did the best she could. She worked every day and all of us got a social security check. I remember you saying that, Miss Hell, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We love you, Miss Carver. I'm just messing with you. Okay, baby. Uh, uh, driving that. Just check your daughter's page. And when I say I love her already, thank you, Rita. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Uh, yes, it's definitely something special about you, Chrissy. A sis for another mother. Yeah, I, I don't know what it, I told when I first saw Chrissy. I said, damn, she remind me of my daughter. I don't remember that Chris does TikTok, which is awesome. Y'all know I could never, I never been able to get into TikTok. Never been able to get into TikTok. Shauna thought, so now I feel some kind of way. Chris, Shauna, Shauna, I didn't say Chris was a favorite. Now, y'all, come on now. It ain't about Chris. I told y'all a long time ago, Chris reminded me of my daughter. And I ain't no, I love all of y'all. I just said she remind when I first time I saw her, she reminded me of my daughter. And I ain't gonna take much for them to be the same age. <laughs> but 
but I love everybody. Miss Dawson tried me right. She is cool as hell. Fuck the snot squad. So we fighting over Miss Carl. No, love her too. Thank, I, and I thank all of y'all for going over there and subscribing to my daughter. But please don't care that bullshit over there. Don't go over there. It's, a, it's not a negative page. She's got to have positive content. It ain't got a damn thing to do with this sector over here. She don't know a goddamn thing about Kelo. Nobody over here. So don't care this goddamn shit over there. Chiming in, Miss Carl, you have to admit that. Yeah, all right, Tim. Shrek, you hate that so much love, Chris. Shame on. She hate it. She want everybody to hate Chris. What have Chris doing to you, Shrek? Uh, your daughter is beautiful. Thank you, Chris. We all love Chris. She is kind of beautiful since we love her last. Chris is truly beautiful because she has to put up with Chris. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And they probably jealous of her ass because she got them, them beautiful daughters. You'd be surprised why a motherfucker's jealous of you. She got beautiful daughters. You would be surprised why motherfuckers hate you. Brenda Ross, hey, pretty lady. Happy Tuesday. Thank you, baby. Krista called you and said, wake up on life. <laughs> ah, I know she did. I know she did. Chris was going to have me on your sleep. Now, <laughs> you know what? Chris is going to always be there. Miss Carl, Miss Carl. <laughs> that why, that's why I don't know why I feel like I have known Chris and, uh, uh, from now, before now, and I ain't never known. Tim Norris said, Chris is laughing. Chris is, I, I don't laugh. J laughing. Sweet K laughing. Driving there. Oh, yes. Chris said, Miss Carl, wake up. <laughs> I need to call my husband. I told him, he said, who is she? And I called him, who is she? I said, that's that's one of my moderators. She look like for me, baby. I thank God, because Chris is going to see like, Miss Carl, wait. <laughs> I said, Lord, nobody but Chris. You know when somebody love you. They ain't, you know when somebody love you. They ain't got to tell you. I know when somebody love me. Don't do me, say, Rita, you know you a favorite, your heifer. Yeah, I, I have, I have, I have, I have, I will say this. I have become to like, to love reader. I ain't gonna say like to love reader. Teeth and tongue fall like, I don't want to have no hatred for nobody. And all this trying to embarrass, I don't like that. We all come from somewhere. And I'm speaking up for me. I ain't speaking for Rita, nobody else. Because I remember when things weren't so great with my mother and us eight kids. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Tim Norris, I did praying hands. Hanging out, I did yeah. Miss Carl said, I ain't no damn sleep. I, I don't, I don't, uh, Chris, I ain't sleep. Miss Carl, wake up. <laughs> I did, Chris. Your fast ass calling over here. I ain't damn sleep. Here come my husband bringing a phone. Uh, somebody said, wake up. Wait. <laughs> I, I, look, I knew who it was. I knew who it was. I might have blanked out for a minute. Hell yeah, I might blank out for a minute. And when I got the phone, I, look, I was wide open. <laughs> I said, I ain't no damn sleep. Chris has got Miss Carver back. Chris said, wake up, Miss Carver. <laughs> I got so tickled. I, I, I thank God for Chrissy. Chrissy cared enough about me to call my home and tell my husband to wake me up. If somebody else called, if I didn't answer, they probably would have hung up. But Chrissy had enough. She loved me enough to tell my husband to go wake me up. And I thank God for Because if somebody else said, when I speak to Miss Carver, if he says she sleep, then hung up. She said, Miss Carver, go wake up, Miss Carver. I thank God for it every day. Just like my daughter, she just like my daughter. My daughter been there here so damn fast. Daddy, daddy, go over there and wake mommy up. <laughs> Honey, you ever seen a, a, a two girls who said daddy better than my two? Daddy. 
my two girls can call the hell out of daddy. Daddy? Mama, where is daddy? Daddy? Chris got Miss Carl back. Yeah, yeah, she had. Miss Carl said, I ain't no damn. I sure did. I sure did. Here come my husband, Tapping. She said, You sleep, baby. I said, I ain't no damn. He gave me one. I ain't no damn sleep. Let's see how you is. Thank you for the $9.99 uh, super sticker set. Thank you so much. Thank y'all so much. Jack Dawes exclusive D Demon. Amen. No, she ain't no good at cussing. No, Chris ain't gonna do but so much good. Miss Carl, my daughter ain't gonna come on here and do no good. But Miss Carl, <laughs> hello, somebody. <laughs> Don't do me. Yes, Chris took a chance getting Miss Carl fussed out. And you was nice to him when Chris called. Yeah. Chris said, Miss Carl, go wake the wife. Give your wife the phone. Here he come. He didn't know well he didn't come on out now. Here he come. And I got Chris said, wake up, man. I said, I ain't sleep, Chris. <laughs> I would, I would doze the fuck off. Cause I have been drinking them damn drinks, y'all. I was drinking them damn drinks, y'all. I ain't ashamed to talk about it. We we're all afraid that you were going to fall out of. Let me tell y'all something. Don't ever think I'm going to fall out of my bar stool chairs over there. I done had a, a 20 years. Do you know how many times I done set up them motherfuckers and went to sleep? It ain't feel like yet. So don't ever think I'm going to fall out. Like, I ain't going to sit nowhere that I'm going to fight fall light up. I done went to sleep a, a million times in my bar stool. They sit high. They steady, and they ain't going no motherfucker, and no motherfucking where. And I ain't either, long as I'm sitting there. I ain't falling like no goddamn bar stools. Not in my house. I keep telling y'all, I don't buy that kind of goddamn furniture. You're going to fall like the motherfucker. Because I got them railings on both sides, and I sit back in it, and I'm secure. I ain't going to fall over like this goddamn I can sit like this all night long in my recliner, in my bar stool, and hold a drink in my hand. I can sit down and go to sleep for six hours. And when I wake up, I'm going to still have this goddamn drink sitting right here. Ain't nothing turned over. And I'm still going to be sitting the same damn way when I went to sleep. Just like that. Just like ain't still the same goddamn drink in my hand. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Miss Cara, I sub to your beautiful daughter. Thank y'all. All of y'all, please sub to my daughter's channel. But like I said, I fell asleep before at the hole in a <laughs> uh, butterfly. Now, I ain't gonna never fall asleep at the hole in the wall. Hell to the no, 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 go. Too many motherfuckers up in there. I gotta keep my eyes open. I don't know who gonna pull like something. Uh, uh, hey, what's that? A butterfly kiss the land of Jesus. said butterfly kiss. Sweet case that fax means, ma. Hey, what's that? Yes, I thank you all. Don't do me. Say, hit the like button, please, and thank you. Y'all hit that like, butterfly kiss. I was with family. Okay, butterfly kiss. So you had somebody watch tonight for you. I ain't closing my damn mind. I get that sleep. I'm ready to go. We gave us a butterfly kiss. Look, let's share, Jenna. What's your daughter's channel so I can subscribe? Um, uh, conversations with dimples. Conversations with dimples. Uh, could you put it in here, Chris, and I can pin it? I don't know how to do it. Don't do me. Uh, uh, don't do me. So you can bless the host at dollar sign fifty five sixteen. I want to let me let me address to you this. There's a lot of people on here today that wasn't on here yesterday. Uh, my granddaughter is having my first great grandson within the next 28 days. She wanted me to come on and put a register up, and I told her no because I don't want nobody sending me anything to my home because I don't trust these motherfuckers. Don't send nothing to my home. But uh, somebody put my cash up. Will y'all bless my daughter? 
my great my granddaughter for her great my great grandson could y'all send her a blessing for her baby shower so she can buy something for the baby if anybody here will, willing i a lot of y'all in here today it wasn't in here yesterday and i'm gonna have a great grandson within the next 28 days let me pin you. You can't black. Let me. I'm a pin you. If you could uh, send a blessing to get my granddaughter a uh, uh, baby shower gift for her her son, it'd be greatly appreciated. If you don't have a cash app, you can send a super chat, super sticker, anything. Because a lot of y'all in here today that wasn't here yesterday. And it'd be greatly appreciated. So up to your daughter. Okay, George Edifon. Dimple's commentary was itching professional. I like her as well. Okay. Myra said, don't do me, sir. The register goes straight to her. It don't include her address, just the items in her name. Yes. Chris Cron said, Amen. If y'all can afford it, bless my grandbaby with uh, a blessing or something for her baby, for her baby shower. Because I told her I won't put up no addresses because I don't trust these people sending a motherfucking thing because a lot of motherfuckers on here don't mean no good. And I, I am not talking about the people on my page. Because I know I got good people over here. I'm not talking about y'all. I love you. Get on here and have a damn good time. Have a damn good time. Sure do. So if you can bless my grandbaby, please do so. Please do so. The first, My first great grandbaby. Thank you so much, Lashana. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much for blessing my grandbaby. And she's going to get every dime of it. When I got off live last night, I sent my daughter, my grandbaby, every dollar that had been sent to me. Every dollar. Because this is not for me. So every dollar. And when I get off here today, guess what's going to happen? Every dollar going to my baby. Uh, Kyla, thank you so much for the blessing. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. And oh, I can, when I send my grandbaby that money last night, she was about to cry. She said, Grandma, thank you. Thank you, Grandma. I said, You're welcome, baby. I said, Don't no, be getting upset now. You know you're pregnant. Don't be coming with that crying shit. If anybody on here could bless my grandbaby, super sticker, super chats, or a blessing. That was I mean. Thank you, Shonda. Thank you, Shonda. Thoughts for oh God bless you, Shonda. Thank you for blessing my grandbaby. Thank you so much. Thank y'all so much for blessing my baby, my grandbaby, for her my great grandson. He'll be here with twenty eight days. Twenty eight days. Is there anybody else on here want to bless me? My grandbaby? Super stickers and super chats. I got a, my, my cash app up. Congratulations, Ms. Carl, on your first great grandson. I have two great grandsons. Eight, oh, you got them 18 and 14? My God, Miss Ruby. Oh, this is going to be my first one. My first one. Thank God. And I, look, guess what? I'm going to be there. I'm going to do everything I can to support my grandbabies. So is. So is. Everything I, the same way I was with my kid, and still is. Anything I can do. Because I'm one of them mothers. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jack Dogs, thank you so much for the $20 super chat. This is for your great-grandson, no cash. 
Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to call out these last two, but it, it won't do it. You know what? This damn thing is slow as hell. Now, I don't know who sent what. So, y'all, I'm sorry. I got to wait till it come up. I got to wait till it come up. Uh, thank you, Jack Dogs, uh, Francis. BRV Moss, Regalus said, Myra. If y'all are able, send me, my granddaughter a cash out, super chat or something for the my great granddaddy. Uh, Jack Dogs Thank you so much, Janae. Thank you so much for the blessing. God bless you, honey. God bless you. Lord, have mercy. Thank you so much, Tiffany, for the blessing, honey. Thank you so much for the blessing. God bless you, honey. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. My God. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank you so much. God bless you, honey. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Gwendolyn Harris. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Lord, I can see my grandbaby now. I can see my grandbaby now crying. Oh, Grandma. Thank you, Grandma. Don't thank me. Thank the, thank my subscribers. God bless them. Chris and Miss Carver, don't fall out the chair. Honey, I ain't going to fall like that. <laughs> Chris, you better get your ass out of here. <laughs> you better get your ass out of here. That was, thank you so much, Shonda. Thank you so much. Ruby Keys and Coran. Yeah. Uh, what, <laughs> you better get the hell out of here, Chris. I ain't falling like no damn chip. Sue's a good eating, love, princess. Super glue. My love, wave it. I ain't work my bad. Thank you, Jack Dawes, for the $20, baby. Thank you. That's in how to flip. I had to come out of the bush, Miss Carl, because my mother had 13 kids, buried two husbands. Never did we know we were poor. My mother was a seniors. I would give up my error. My God is so. Honey, I can tell you, girl, I can tell you a lot of days about my mother. Honey, my mama did. I don't give a damn what it was. My mama didn't own but two pair of pants. She worked every day. She go to work one day, come home and wash it, go back the next day, wash it and wash it. But she made sure her eight children was clean. We had proper clothing five days a week. It wasn't all about her. See, a lot of mama thinks it's all about them. But see, I didn't have that mother. My mother didn't give a damn. Long as she was clean, she had uh, a clean pants and pants to go to work. She wasn't buying her nothing. She said, I could wash one the night, go back the next day. And that's what you that's what I call a mother. Janae show is up in the show is up in the stuck laughing. Oh, let's share Jen. That's so beautiful. Yes, uh, bless the babies. My son are 29 and 26. They don't have kids. They said they are no ready. My daughter's 22, graduating college in May. So I just get my great nephew from there. Hell yeah, Miss Gwyneth Harris is me. Okay, thank you, Miss Gwyneth Harris. Thank y'all so much, Chris. Miss C, who told you not to fall? You told me not to fall. Like, you come here. Man, I, look, I got mine. I was dressing up, but I got so tickled. When my husband gave me that phone, Chris woke me up. And, and y'all, I'm telling you, it was joy. I got so tickled. I woke up instantly. Instantly when I heard Chris's voice. I woke up instantly. And I couldn't help from laughing. I don't, who is that? I said, that's one of my best Chris. 
I said, that's the one I always told you look like my baby. And she did the same thing my daughter would have did. Called me, and she did the same thing she would have did. I said, if that child ain't just like my daughter, she just like my, because my daughter would did the same damn thing. Mama, get up by that chair before you fall out that chair. <laughs> Chrissy, Chrissy, you on time. You on time, Chrissy. You see, she, she on time. She just, I don't know whether it's a, another child or, or something from a, a other years. She reminds me so much of my daughter. Michelle Chrissy, good afternoon, Miss C. And everyone in the chat. You have a beautiful, thank you, Miss Michelle. You have two beautiful daughters, Miss Michelle. Thank you so much, honey. And Miss Michelle, I love them. I love them. That's just one of them. I love them, Miss Michelle. Don't do me say hello, Miss Michelle. Uh, Chris, because I didn't write that. Did someone else write that? I don't know who wrote it, but I answered it. I answered it, Chris. You you do every you you do what my daughter do. Mama, get up like that chair before you fall like that chair. <laughs> I said now, is this my daughter or is this Chrissy? Nobody would have did it but my daughter. So what nobody but my baby. Nobody but my my baby. I love your energy, Cynthia. Thank you to you and family all this way. Thank y'all. Hello, Miss Cochran. Oh, thank all of y'all. Before I get off here, anybody else want to send my grandbaby a blessing? Anybody else on here want to send my grandbaby a blessing for her first baby, my first great grandchild? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait five minutes. I'm going to get up and close my blinds. If y'all want to send her a blessing, please do so. I'm going to close everything. Okay, okay, Miss Carl, your window and blinds are so clean the way it should be. I clean my windows and my blind. Uh, Miss Queen, two beauties, two beauties, Missy. I have two, two girls are so yeah, yeah, Miss Michelle, Miss Michelle. I seen your two daughters beautiful, and they are special. My two are special to me. If they are nothing to y'all. And I'm sure you the same way, Miss Michelle. I worship my girls. And guess what? They worship uh, daddy and mama. Okay, getting ready to eat dinner. Okay, Jack's dogs. Thank y'all for coming in. Thank y'all for the cash app, the super chat, super stickers, the views. And thank y'all just for loving me. Thank y'all for just the clicks. Just for loving Miss Carl. I love y'all. Peace.